when the lights are on and the house is full and the laughter is easy and all is well, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. When the lights are low and the house is still and the air is full of wondering, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. When the lights are off and the house is sad and nothing seems right, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And tonight, always tonight, as if there were no other door, no other people. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Come now, Lord Jesus Christ. Bring to this house your poverty, for then we shall be rich. Bring to this house your pain, that sharing it, we may also share your joy. Bring to this house your understanding of us, that we may be free to learn more of you. Bring to this house all who follow after you, so that we may meet you as the saviour of all. Bring to this house your Holy Spirit, that this may be the cradle of your love. With friend or with stranger, with neighbours or with those from far away, be among us now, for the, for the doors of your church we open, and the doors of our hearts we leave ajar. Thank you. 
And now, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still waters. His goodness restores my soul. And I will trust in you alone. And I will trust in you alone. For your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me home. Guides my ways in righteousness, and He anoints my head with oil, and my cup it overflows with joy. I feast on His pure delights, and I will. Trust in you alone, for your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me home. And though I walk the darkest path. I will not fear the evil one, for you are with me and your rod and staff are the comfort I need to know, and I will trust. will trust in you alone, for your endless mercy follows me, your goodness will lead me on, I will trust, and I will trust in you I will trust in you alone, for your endless mercy follows me, your goodness will lead me home. For your endless mercy, for your endless mercy follows me. Your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me
Then the Lord said to Moses, Go down, because your people whom you brought up out of Egypt have become corrupt. They have been quick to turn away from what I commanded them, and have made themselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. They have bowed down to it and sacrificed to it, and have said, These and are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. I have seen these people, the Lord said to Moses, and they are stiff-necked people. Now leave me alone, so that my anger may burn against them, and that you may destroy them. Then I will make you into a great nation. But Moses sought the favour of the Lord his God. O oh Lord, he said, why should your anger burn against your people whom you brought out of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say it was with evil intent that he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to wipe them off the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce anger, Relent and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember your servant Abraham, Isaac and Israel, to whom you swore by your own self, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and I will give your descendants all this land I promised them, and it will be their inheritance forever. Then the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to St Luke. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents, than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance? Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweeps the house, and searches carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and her neighbours, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. This is the word of the Lord. What will you make? 
speak of me, I come to you. God of the meek and mild, God of the reckless and the wild, God of the unreconciled, I come to you. God of a life and death, God of a secret son confessed, God of our every breath. I come to you, God of the rich and poor, God of the princes and the whore, God of the ever open door, I come to you, God of the unborn child, God of the pure. God of the pimp and pedophile, I come to you. God of the war and peace, God of the junkie and the priest, God of the greatest and the least, I come to you. I come to you Tonight, as we offer to God our prayers of intercession, hear the voices of the lost. I no longer feel at home in our world. I am lost because I have lost everything. The war has deprived me of family and home of friends and neighbours. Almighty God, you search for your lost children until you find and rescue them. We pray tonight for those caught up in the rolling tides of warfare and famine, of drought and natural disaster. And we offer our particular prayers for the poorest nations of the world and for their most vulnerable people. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear the voices of the lost. I do not know what I should or can do. I feel lost because I have lost all direction in my life and my illness has robbed me of my self-determination. God, you heal your lost children and guide them. Tonight, we pray for those people whose journey of life is passing through a fog, a storm of illness or sorrow or anxiety. We offer to you with love our own friends and families and neighbours who are in need of your healing touch. We name them before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear the voices of the lost. I feel cut off from God and from other people. I am lost because of the terrible things I have done. My guilt and my self-loathing have driven a wedge between me and life. God, you call to your lost children and you forgive them. Tonight, we pray for those who despair of finding their way to forgiveness and to love, to peace and to joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. When we are lost, loving shepherd, you search for us and you rescue us. Tonight, heal our self-inflicted wounds and the hurts that life brings. Guide us onwards, calling us by name, forgiving us when we stray. Lift us up and bring us safely home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.